First came, the line, and, the oxagon, then came, the Dubai circle, and now, a massive queue. Prior to this month, Saudi Arabia unveiled the Mukab, its most recent undertaking. The cube is so large that it might 20 empire state buildings could fit within. It was referred to as a, gateway to another, by Saudi Arabia. A holographic dome that whisks guests away to faraway planets and fantastical universes. So will the Mukab actually be completed, or is this merely a viral marketing gimmick? If so, then when will it be accessible to the public? We'll look at everything we've learned so far in this video. Saudi Arabia is a wealthy nation in the Middle East noted for its massive oil reserves. But Saudi Arabia wants to rely less on this oil in order to reduce its dependence. Because of this, they have begun launching and constructing enormous megaprojects with the catchphrase, Vision 2030. Their economy gradually away from oil and towards tourism. Among these, the biggest the $1 trillion megaprojekt Neon, which features a 170-kilometer long line city. Octagon, a floating port city, and Trigena, a sizable ski resort in the Arabian desert. In several of our earlier videos, we have already discussed Neon. Yet, in recent weeks, some significant improvements have been made to these projects. As of January, the CEO of Neom declared that 20% of the city's infrastructure had already been built. The words, Neom is genuine, were used to introduce an update video, which displayed photographs from the line, the Oxagon, and Trigena are all enormous construction sites. Saudi Arabia also has partnerships with certain significant businesses. Oracle and NVIDIA are two companies that will aid in the implementation of NEOM's citywide AI technology. As if the Neom containing the line announcement if Trigena and Oxagon weren't enough, there is now yet another brand new project. Greetings from New Maraba, the newest component to Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 is this queue. Neom has attracted a lot of attention. A lot of focus in recent months, but Saudi Arabia doesn't want to ignore the country's various large cities. Because of this, New Maraba will be constructed in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Riyadh is already a city that is expanding quickly. It had fewer than half as many residents 50 years ago. More than 7 million people now call it home, making it the third largest city in the world. Middle Eastern, Mohammed bin Salman, the Saudi crown prince, also claims. The new Maraba project will create the biggest contemporary downtown in the entire world. This new neighborhood is anticipated to accommodate Riyadh's growth. To another level, there will be more than 80 entertainment outlets installed there. Many strolling paths, a sizable museum, and in the middle of it all. The enormous Mukab, Arabic's word for cube, is Mukab, hence the structure will be known as the cube, constructing basic geometric structures to an absurd scale. Following the line and the oxagon, it appears that Saudi Arabia's megaprojects will all have similar designs. The new face of Riyadh has been dubbed the Mukab. The cube's exterior draws inspiration from Najdi architecture as a historic design that Saudi Arabians have employed. For many centuries sunlight will reflect off the lovely surface, which will dominate Riyadh's skyline. This cube will be astounding in its size. It will be considered a building because it is 400 meters tall extreme skyscraper. It would be the fourth tallest structure in Dubai. But the Mukab is 400 meters broad, unlike other towers, and would entirely dominate the cityscape. To put things into perspective, the Mukab is large enough to fit 20 Empire State Buildings. It would be much larger than any current cube-shaped structures. Found elsewhere in the world. Berlin Cube, a spectacular office building in Germany, for instance. Its mirrored sides grab the eye. Nonetheless, it is just 40 meters tall. Hence, 1,000 of these could fit inside the Mukab. This cube might grow to be the biggest building on Earth in terms of volume easily surpassing the Boeing Everett plant in Washington, which held the previous record. In reality the Boeing factory could accommodate approximately five times as much within the cube if it were that size. But what use will all of this space serve? The Mukab cube is designed to make entering it feel like stepping into another universe. A massive visitors will be dwarfed by the dome, which showcases several virtual realities. The intention is for these holographic displays to give Mukab tourists the impression that they are in a different universe. You can find yourself at the ocean's bottom in a split second. One moment you're in a fantastic dream realm, the next you're on Mars' surface. It's intended to be a completely immersive experience unlike anything you've ever had. 
A spiral tower that resembles an anthill will be at the dome's center. Or brackets of fungus, rising from the floor to the roof. This tower serves as to be a top travel destination for visitors from all around the world. There will be eateries there. Together with theaters and cinemas, there are also hotel rooms and observation decks. The enormous cube will next envelop the tower and the dome. Also, there will be a ton of facilities in the cube's four corners. Piled high in towers resembling skyscrapers. Moreover, the top will be utilized to house lakes, grass, and trees. It depends on the situation as to whether or not it makes sense to create a lake there. Support us in our efforts, if you have liked this video thus far. Subscribe to our channel and help us reach 1 million subscribers. But why is the Mukab designed like a cube? The cube-shaped design of the Mukab is, in the opinion of its creators, the most effective a configuration suitable for fitting all the modern technologies supporting the overall experience. It's not yet clear how they plan to present the virtual worlds, but the bell jar dome and the exterior cube will need to be separated by technology. A strong selection of joists and beams will also be required to connect the dome and the shell. Beams to support the gardens on the cube's top. The skyscraper-like towers. The cube will also receive support at each corner. Does that suffice? It is doubtful if the building can hold the largest roof in the world and the garden on top. The Mukab is also intended to become more recognizable due to its cube-shaped appearance. As for the Mukab, provide Riyadh a distinctive landmark that would help it stand out from other cities' urban areas in the world. It is comparable to the Statue of Liberty in New York or the Eiffel Tower in Paris. Anybody who views a picture of the cube will immediately conjure up Riyadh in their minds. Nonetheless, there has been some feedback about the shape. Several individuals claim that it resembles the Kaaba, in Mecca, another city in Saudi Arabia. Islam's holiest place is the Kaaba. Wherever in the world, a Muslim makes sure to face it when they are praying. However, others have criticized the similarities and noted that there are more cubes besides the Kaaba. When Germany constructed the Berlin Cube, it wasn't claimed that it was similar to the Kaaba, so why should the Mukab be any different? These people also noted that the Saudi monarch is Muslim, as a result, they wouldn't purposefully construct a building in the shape of the Kaaba, making the similarity likely to be coincidental. In general, the Mukab project announcement has been received favorably, with anticipation and mystery, but, everyone asks the same query. A real Mukab will be constructed. Although work hasn't started yet, it should in the near future some months. The project's public opening has been promised by Saudi Arabia for the year 2030. The line, the Oxagon, and Trigena, as well as the other Vision 2030 initiatives. This project will probably be accomplished more quickly than the line. Then, it would be the largest megaproject ever constructed, essentially. The result is unpredictable because of this. Let's divide it into three different situations as follows. Saudi Arabia would likely most enjoy the first potential scenario. A prediction that cube construction will begin in the coming months and in accordance with their announcement, the 400 meters tall cube will be completed by 2030. Riyadh will get its new symbol and gradually draw more and more tourists. To become one of the most visited locations on Earth, people come from all over the world. If anything about this sounds too good to be true, there are quite a few obstacles to clear, which brings us to the following second scenario. Financial professionals already have doubts about the project's viability. No, they can't see where Saudi Arabia will obtain the funding for yet another large-scale project. King's College London's drive, Andreas Krieg is an authority on Middle Eastern studies said, the finances of all of this are not entirely secured. CNN questioned the public investment fund about their plans a few days following the Mukab's announcement to pay for the undertaking. The PIF said that no financial information has been made public yet. But that further details would be made available soon. The amount of foreign investment will be crucial. Saudi Arabia aims to increase its revenue by 2030. More than $100 billion annually, which would aid in funding initiatives like the MUCA. They haven't reached that number yet, but with enough publicity. Foreign investment may start to increase quickly. Nevertheless, there is no assurance that will happen. Vision Amnesty International accused 2030 of violating human rights, bringing disrepute to the whole undertaking and maybe frightening away international investors. Even if Saudi Arabia succeeds in raising the necessary funds, there is a far tougher obstacle to overcome. Is this massive undertaking even technically feasible? 
Holograms like the ones the Mukab announced don't yet exist. In recent years, businesses like Light Field Lab have made some significant improvements. Yet, holograms as large as Mukab's dome still seem like science fiction. A similar look may certainly be produced utilizing gigantic LED screens. That is what is taking place at the MSG Sphere, an ongoing construction project in Las Vegas. And is scheduled to debut this year. It will be an immersive entertainment arena, with an interior wall that is entirely covered by a wraparound screen and is formed like a huge sphere. It will be the world's largest screen at 15,000 square meters, almost the size of three football fields worth of space. It has been created to transport the similar to the Mukab in Saudi Arabia, Sphere exposes its viewers to virtual environments. There is a significant distinction, though, the Mukab screen would have to a minimum of 20 times larger than the one in the MSG Sphere. Also, it's uncertain whether a screen that size could be constructed. Not to mention the enormous lake that is located on the cube's roof, countless liters. The stress on the structure would be greatly increased by the addition of water. Therefore the cube would must be made from incredibly durable materials and be watertight in every way. Should the lake leak, on the pricey technology, right underneath, it would be devastating. In other words, the cube is already dealing with some significant difficulties. Without money to pay for it, or the necessary technologies, there is a danger that it won't get finished. But, there is a third possibility, perhaps the cube will be created someday. But in a scaled down, less grandiose version, it might be made smaller. 400 meters or more to 200 meters or less, it would still be the fastest at 100 meters. The world's largest cube-shaped structure, which is a striking appearance. For it to be inferior to the present designs, but would still represent an improvement. It's difficult to foresee what will happen next, but one thing's absolutely certain. It looks to be an interesting couple of years. The Mukab, when 2030 finally arrives the line, and other revolutionary initiatives might open their doors to the public. Maybe perhaps they will all never be completed. How do you feel? Tell us in the comments section below. And you should watch more our videos if you want to learn more about Vision 2030. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next video.